This video is going to do a couple more examples from 9.2 um, just to give you guys a better feel for working with area of regular polygons. Um, so these two examples, this first one I don't have a picture to work with. Um, I do need to know how many sides a nonagon has. So a nonagon has nine sides and I can just tell you trying to draw a regular nonagon so that they all look the same isn't the easiest task, especially for me. But remember our system, I can do the area of a regular polygon is equal to one half the apothem times the perimeter. Remember, we can also find the number of triangles within a nonagon and multiply by nine. So if I have one triangle and I can find the area of that, if I multiply that by nine, that's gonna give me the area of this regular nonagon. So if I have this triangle, this remember is the central angle. So the central angle we can find by doing 360 divided by the number of sides. So if I do 360 divided by nine, I get 40 degrees. Okay, so now I do know the perimeter already, so I could plug that in here and say that the perimeter is 144. So what is each side then? Well, if there are nine sides, one side length is equal to 144 divided by nine, which we get 16 when we do that. So then I know that each side length of one triangle is 16. Okay, so remember we wanna work with a right triangle though. So if I were to drop down the height here, I would get a right triangle. So I'm gonna pull that triangle out here. So if that's half of this triangle, instead of the side length of 16, we're gonna have eight. And instead of 40, we're gonna have 20 degrees. So I need to find the apothem, which remember goes from the center and is perpendicular to the side. So if I find the apothem, I can plug it into this formula and then I know that I've got the formula for a regular polygon. So in order to find A, this is my opposite side, hypotenuse and adjacent. So I'm gonna use tangent. I'm looking for A and I know O. So we're gonna do tangent of my angle, 20 degrees, equals the opposite over adjacent. Okay, now we have to get A by itself. So I'm first gonna get it out of the fraction by multiplying both sides by A. So I've got A times the tangent of 20, equals eight, need to divide by the tan of 20 to get A by itself. So I've got A is equal to eight divided by the tangent of 20. So I can enter that into the calculator to get our apothem. So A divided by tan of 20 is equal to 21.9, and actually that seven's gonna round it up, so we're gonna actually say it's approximately 22. So A is 22. So now I can come back to my formula and all I was missing was the apothem. So now I have it. So I can do 1 half times 22 times 144. So we plug those in. I've got 0.5 times 22 times 144, 1,584. So area is 1,584. And then we've got square inches for our units. Okay, example number two. This is more of a modeling question. So we've got this gazebo, and I'm told that it's a regular heptagon, and each side is six feet. Then I've got a garden that's going around the gazebo. It's circular, and it extends 10 feet from the vertices of the heptagon. What is the area of the garden? Okay, and we're going to round to the near square foot. Okay, I'm going to attempt to draw a picture here, so bear with me. So we've got this circular garden going around this heptagon, which has seven sides. So seven, so we've got seven there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll go with that. I know it doesn't look that regular, but we'll go with it. So we know that each side of my heptagon is six feet and that the garden is extending 10 feet from the vertices. So, and that should be the same all the way around. So from each vertex, it is extended 10 feet, okay? So, again, if I draw in a triangle here, basically I need to do the area of the garden. In order to find that, I have to do the area of the circle minus the area of the heptagon, right? 
So we have a few steps we need to do that. So the circle, I need to know the radius, right? Well, I don't know the radius because it's going to be 10 plus this side length. So we can figure that out, though, if I can figure out my apothem, because I'm going to need that for my regular pentagon. So let's go ahead and start there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and call this, I'm going to drop down my apothem. So I've got A, and I'm actually going to go ahead and call this C, because we're going to end up doing A squared plus B squared equals C squared to get the radius as well. Okay, and actually I am going to, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so let's find A. So remember, in order to use the trig, we have to have the central angle. Central angle is equal to 360 divided by 7, because I've got 7 sides in the heptagon. Okay, so we've got 360 divided by 7, and that's going to equal 51.4. So my angle is 51.4, and then remember I'm going to pull out the right triangle. So 51.4 divided by 2, so this whole thing is 51.4, and then we're going to divide that by 2 to get this angle. So 51.4 divided by 2 equal to 25.7. So 25.7 degrees A. This is going to be 3 because the whole side is 6, so half of it's going to be 3. Okay, so let's use some trigs. So I've got tangent of 25.7 equals the opposite side over the adjacent. So when we end up solving for A, we get 3 divided by the tan of 25.7. That in here, 3 divided by tan, 25.7, and we get 6.2 for the apothem. Okay, so we can go ahead and find the area. Oh, sorry, that got nice and blurry. There we go. Okay, so we can go ahead and find the area of the heptagon because we have everything we need now. So, one half the apothem, which is 6.2. And the perimeter, each side was 6, and I had 7 sides, so 6 times 7 is 42 for the perimeter. So I've got 0.5 times 6.2 times 42. So we've got the area of the heptagon is about 130.2 square feet. Okay, so now we're going to do the circle. So remember, we needed the radius. So right now, I just have this 10. I need this whole thing. So back to this right triangle. So I've got the right triangle. I now know that this is 6.2. I knew this was 3, and I'm looking for C. So we're going to do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so we've got 9 plus 6.2 squared. Okay, so I've got 47.44 equals c squared. Take the square root. So we get about 6.9 for c. So c equals 6.9. So then my radius, so the circle, we just found that this is 6.9. So now the radius is 6.9 plus 10. So my radius is equal to about 16.9. So now that I have the radius, I can find the area of the circle. So area of the circle is pi times r squared. So we'll do 16.9 squared and then times pi. So I got 897 point 0.3. Okay, and now to find the area of the garden, we go back to our original where I said I'm going to take the circle minus the heptagon. So area of the garden is equal to 897.3 minus 16.9. So 897.3 minus 16, oh, sorry, not 16.9. The area of my heptagon is 130.2. So we'll fix that. Okay, it equals. So the area of my garden and they say round to the nearest square foot, so we'll round that to 767. So 767 square feet. All right, hopefully those extra problems will help you with your homework. Thanks for watching.